cold spell of mid-December weather is set to continue, certainly for the next week, if not the next 10 days. In fact, things are remaining well below average. So some further snow showers around cold, frosty nights for many of us, and we're going to see some lingering freezing fog developing at times as well. So we've got that cold air mass very much still with us. You can see the low pressure here. It's a very slack area of low pressure, so it's not one of those that moves through quickly on the breeze. It will be producing a few showers around here and there. You can see the wind direction coming in from the north or northeast, but actually not many wind arrows across the bulk of the UK, so not too much to break up the freezing fog and the frost that we're going to be seeing. Now, through Saturday, then, snow and ice across much of Scotland once again. Could be just falling as rain close to the coast of Aberdeenshire. Also, icy stretches for Northern Ireland into northwest England, Wales and the southwest as well. Could be a few centimetres of snow for the moors, for instance. Freezing fog lingering for eastern England, keeping the temperature down here, only a degree or two above freezing, a little bit milder out towards the west. Now, moving through Saturday night and on into Sunday, then not much change in the general setup. We've still got this very slack area of low pressure around. Again, snow and ice across parts of Scotland. Icy conditions around some of these coasts in the west, but also the potential for some snow and some ice to develop across parts of southeast England. I think particularly late on Sunday and overnight into Monday as well. So that could cause some disruption. Look at those temperatures, a bitterly cold feeling day. Just one or two degrees for many of us. So Sunday night into Monday, low pressure sitting here close to southern England. So there is that potential that we could see a period of perhaps sleet, perhaps snow, but details still to be firmed up on. There's also going to be, again, some freezing fog across the bulk of England and Wales on Monday, similar, in fact, to what we'll see on Sunday. So that really will once again peg back those temperatures. So the blue colours across the map, some of us are going to struggle to get above freezing through the day on Monday. Looking further ahead towards the middle part of the week, then weather fronts are sitting out towards the southwest, so they're going to try and move in, bringing some wet weather and some milder air. But as you can see for the here and now, it's certainly going to be the blue colours, the cold air mass that's going to be winning out. So Tuesday, then further snow showers likely could be quite heavy and prolonged across parts of Scotland into northeast England as well. We've got an area of rain just sitting in the English Channel that could bring some sleetiness to some southern counties of England, perhaps. In between, quite still quite a lot of dry weather again, some freezing fog lingering and those temperatures really struggling. Midweek looks like this then, snow showers piling in on that north or northeasterly breeze. Weather fronts just not far away from the south, but it looks like Wednesday's going to be another bitterly cold day with that northerly wind. Quite heavy snow, could be quite disruptive for northern and eastern Scotland and looks like right down the east coast of England with the likes of Newcastle, potentially towards Norwich as well. That's the area most prone to seeing those wintry showers. A lot of dry weather elsewhere, but again, it is going to feel very cold. So towards the end of the working week, then we've still got the snow flurries in, we've still got the cold air mass. Slight change from the south, it looks like this milder air tries to develop, tries to move some wetter or windier weather in towards the end of the 10-day period. So the following Sunday we're looking at now. So here's the outlook. Then still temperatures well below average for the foreseeable. Towards next weekend, so that's 10 days ahead this Sunday, just a hint that things could turn a little bit milder in the run-up to Christmas. Bye-bye.